in today's video i will be giving you guys a full walkthrough on how to make a cartoon head also if you would like to follow along with this video step by step become a member to the patreon because i will be giving you guys the vector file for free so you guys that have the line work and also i will be giving you guys a copy of the color palette i, I use so you'll be able to follow along using the exact same thing you see me using in this video link will be in the description below and without further ado let's jump right into this video okay, i'm finna drag and drop my picture i'm gonna hold shift so i don't distort the picture as I bring it down to size by grabbing the corners and we gonna center it and we gonna make it right there. We're gonna come up here to opacity and we're gonna bring that down. Then after we do that, we're gonna lock that layer, create a new layer right above it. And let's come up here to change our brush new brush hit okay and to get the pressure option you got to be using a digital art tablet i'm using a wacom i will be posting the link of the exact wacom i use in the description below as well and also i'll make sure i post some alternatives that you guys can use that's cheaper but you'll still be able to get the pressure option so just check out all my links in the description below all right come over here to pressure change this number to three change that to three two and what i do is i hit control and plus to zoom in and i stroll on my mouse while i'm holding control and you stroll on your mouse it'll it'll go left and right but if you stop holding control it'll go up and down so you just gotta learn those little, those little short key, shortcut keys. Okay, every time I do a cartoon head, I start with the nose, the nostrils, to be more specific. Okay, we we'll try to get our lines clean as possible. Also, if you having problems trying to make clean lines, Come right here, double click your brush, and just move your smoothness up. I keep mines in the center because that's pretty much a good balance for me. But if you want your lines a little more cleaner, just move it up some and figure out what works best for you. Okay. I'm gonna start with these nose. Make our lines super crispy you feel me? another thing too i am open for commission so if you want to just purchase a cartoon here for yourself i will have my email down below also you can contact me on instagram as well that's just for the people that's a fan of my art, but don't want to do art. They just want to buy art. Hit me up. You feel me? All right, we just gonna make sure our lines are super clean. You know what I'm saying? Close this eye. And always make sure your lines connect too. So you won't have no problems later. Make this top line a little bolder. Let's come over here, do the same thing. Bring this over. All right, cool. Boom. Take a little step back. See how we looking. Alright. Now do the lips.
Now we're gonna make a bold outline for the outer shape of his face. So I, I move my brush to a two point. Move my brush back to a one point. I messed up right there. Control Z. Anytime you mess up. Now what you want to do is. You see I left the eyebrows, the eyes, and the hair open. You want to right click your brush. You want to go to pencil tool. And then you want to move this black color to the top. You, by clicking this little double arrow. Make sure your bottom one is locked. Make sure the settings inside of your pencil look exactly like you see here because we finna use this pencil as a field tool so that's what I use to do my shading as well my pencil tool but see what we do is we just trace the area we want it to fill in and then it, it just fill in the inner area we just trace our line, come back to the starting point, and it fills it in. So, come up here to this eye. Let's trace our area, fill it in, come to this other eye. Trace this area, fill it in like that. Now, let's go back to our, uh, our brush tool and let's add some detail. So I'm gonna highlight all this together. I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance. Then I'm gonna click merge on my pathfinder to make it one. And just like I said, this will be the file I'll be giving you guys on the Patreon. So y'all gonna get this. It's gonna open right up for Adobe. Okay, let's drag it, make a copy of the line work. Lock the top copy, cause I always keep a copy that's just plain at the top, just in case you mess up or anything you are having. Um, now we finna go find my color palette that you will get for free as a Patreon member, <clears throat> or you can buy it. I will have that link available too.
if you don't want to become a member and you just want to buy it that'll be under this video as well let me see where's my color palette at? it's on here somewhere oh here you go okay import Where did it go? Well, let me try that again. Others. Desktop. Color pad. Okay, here we go. That's right here. That's all we need. All right. So let's start with this coloring process. Go to my rectangle tool, drag that color over the picture, right click the color, go to arrange, center back, then we're going to highlight everything, click merge, right click the color, isolate it, select group, select this outer color and hit delete. <clears throat> Also, <clears throat> I'm gonna click this drop down menu. Then we're gonna stroll and we're gonna lock all our black lines. Keep the top two unlocked and close it back. Then I'm gonna come to this direct selection tool and we're gonna delete all the colors. That's on the outside that's hanging in those pieces of hairs. Okay, I don't see. Do I see anything? Okay, that's cool. Alright, we perfect. Go back to my regular selection tool. Now, isolate selected group. Hold shift so I can select more than one area at a time. Alright, click the color white. Oh shift because now we got to do the lip color but also I need to make that just a little red and bring it up some okay cool need to make this just a little red for his Okay, cool. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna make a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom color. And turn the eye off on the bottom color. You're gonna hit the letter Y. And then you're gonna click the skin tone and hit delete. So we can have a layer with just the eyes and the lip color. And we're going to leave that at the top. We're going to turn the skin tone color back on. Create a new layer in between those two. And it's going to be our shadow layer. So. Let me see. I need to make sure I, I'm on the right. Go to my brush tool. I mean my pencil tool. Okay. Make sure I'm on the right layer. And now let's start with some shadows. So I'm gonna start right here with this pocket it. Put it right here. And the more you do it, you guys, like, you'll start knowing where to put these shadows at. I'm looking at a reference photo, but you really can't see like the tones is good on this photo. So I've been doing it so long. Like I kind of know where they should be. Like when I can't see it, it's good on my reference. So practice, the more you do it, the better you will get. Let me see, bring this tone. Right there, like that. 
Then we're gonna put a shadow under this hair, like this. Line this up like that. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Put the shadow right there. Do you want to place a a shadow right here? Place another one like that. And then we're gonna place another one on the like this. Place a shadow tone. Let's place one in these ears. So let's go like this. Come right here. All right. I'm gonna come down. All right, cool. Now we got one tone out the way. Might gonna have to come back to it later. Wait, let me see. All right, let's create another layer right underneath that dark shadow layer. And let's go a little brighter with our tones. So. Shadow show the shape of his nose. So okay, cool. Bringing this up like that. So, bring this tone bring tone up. And let's bring this one over like this. Over like this. Slowly, slowly coming together. All right, bring this up. Also, I'm finna use these shadows to fall behind this hair so that it don't look so plain. So, we're gonna throw some shadows behind, a little mustache. You know what I'm saying? Give it some texture. 
Don't make the bottom part of the face look so empty. Let's uh, bring this on down. And notice how I put the different tones of shadows on separate layers. So just in case I want to go back and make adjustments to the colors, it'll be easier to work around because I made everything on its own layer. So make sure every time you go to a new color, you create a new layer for it just in case you want to adjust that one color. So bring this up. Okay. Uh, create another layer, another shadow layer. Let's go up with our tones. Shadow over here. So bring this up. Bring this up like this. Shim. Okay, now I'm gonna make this. I ain't gonna lie, the more you do it, like the deeper you start to get closer to finishing inside of your picture, like you, you'll just get into like a cruise control. But sometimes I start out slow. And then I just be having a feeling like I would have make this picture look better. So that's what I'm doing right now. So. But just like I say, the more you practice, the more you will have, have an eye for it. So it just don't, you just ain't gonna be able to pick it up and be amazing at doing it. You just gotta put in a lot of man hours you got to put in a lot of time so just 
practiced. That's the key. Okay, I'm thinking, do I want to add a little shadow on this side? Just to not make this look so plain. probably go back to my dark shadow layer just to make that tone a little deeper on the side of his face so let's do that we just gonna touch up spots where it could be a little darker a little more darker Make it flow. Okay. So come down here. Okay. 
Only thing we missing is some highlights on his face. For the skin tone, then we can move to the next. So I'm gonna create a nice little, nice little highlight. Where the light will be reflected. That's the that shadow. Yeah, cause we forgot. We forgot to add some, some tones to these ears so they don't look so plain. Underneath the very top line work layer, so we can add some tones inside the eyes. I'm seeing. I'm All right. Now we need to add, we need to add a tone right inside, a little pink part, the shadow. Go down here to this top lip. What we're going to do is we're going to select it. Or we got to go to that layer. Go to that layer, select the lip color. Then we're gonna click draw inside right here so it won't let us color outside that, that layer. Create a nice little shadow for it. Go to the pencil tool. just drew we're gonna turn that off we're gonna select this bottom lip go to draw inside we're gonna create a, a shadow for it again and we're gonna Right. 
we pretty much is almost done. I think I'm gonna add one more dark shadow tone. So let me go back. Let's see what we go right here. I wanna make this side of his face a little more darker. Telling y'all this color palette is crazy. You see how smooth these colors transition into the next. It's crazy, man. You just gotta know how to use it. Alright. Let's make this a little darker over here. Like that. It's a little darker. Also, just a Now, we are almost finished. Let's come to this top layer. Let's create some eye effects. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like this. not least we're gonna add some hair so we're just gonna go to the gradient wait 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 let's go to gradient and we're gonna go to metals no nah, not metals okay it's this one I'm gonna delete you delete you make you black Make you black. Move you to the center. It's hard to select. Okay. Make you bright. Okay, and there you have it. Our hairbrush. Move this to the bottom. And we gone.
we just going get that little texture going. You feel me? Okay, there you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon head step by step. If you like this tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section. Also, comment some videos you would like to see next, some things you need to learn how to do, and I will assist you on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. Oh, he coming soon, and I'm out.